Welcome to the USA Hockey Officiating Department's Clip of the Week. In this week's segment, we'll take a closer look at Rule 639 for tripping. Rule 639 clearly states, a minor or major penalty shall be assessed to any player who commits the following. Number one is in particular for tripping. It states, uses his stick or any portion of his body and causes an opponent to trip or fall. Note, however, no penalty shall be assessed under this rule if in the opinion of the referee, the player was clearly hook checking or poke checking the puck for the purpose of gaining possession. Let's watch some examples of rule 639 being applied. Our first clip features a one-on-one -on -one where the attacking player goes wide. This is a clear tripping penalty. Let's take another look. The defender only makes contact with the attacking player, resulting in a tripping infraction. Our next example features two players along the boards. This is a good no call. The referee uses good judgment to see that the player in the dark sweater is playing the puck to maintain possession and the attacker trips over the defender's stick. No call is the result. Our third example comes at center ice. In this example, 42 in the dark sweater makes a play on a loose puck. Two players on the other team follow the result, but no trip is called. Let's take another look. On this play, the referee determined that 42 dark was clearly poke checking the puck for the purpose of gaining possession. Great no call. Let's not forget about part B of rule 639. It reads, a major penalty plus a game misconduct penalty shall be assessed to any player who injures an opponent as a result of tripping, clipping, leg checking, or slew footing. It's important that you're in good position and understand the spirit of rule 639 when applying. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.